my god. Shit, feather. Why the fuck do I work in this? Oh. As if anyone's gonna buy a Lambo in this shitty weather. Oh my God. My hair is going to be disaster. It's not good for my hair. Working with Heather is crazy. She's super busy all the time. She's pretty stressed out. Uh, there's long days, uh, lots going on. She's always busy, for sure. I realized that like someday she doesn't even have time to drink her water or eat. Over the years, she's been getting worse and worse, so it was definitely time for her to get an assistant. Hey guys, we're doing a bit of over-dramatization today. But on a real note, I have been very stressed out for quite a few years actually, but the last year and a half is probably the worst. You could say it's the worst or you could say it's the best. It depends on your perspective. From a sales perspective, it's been incredible. I've done an unreal amount of volume, so many deals, so many sales, but what I realized is that was affecting my mental health. I've been in the business 10 years, I've never had to deal with this kind of volume, and I realized I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating, it was affecting how I felt. My doctor literally told me I need to go on stress leave. I was losing my mind. So I hired an assistant. Pressure's been lifted. Lily's awesome. She's helping out where she needs to, uh, taking the stress out of everything and uh, assisting clients. They love it. It's been, it's been fantastic. I feel like Heather now gets to enjoy more, spend time with her family and enjoy working without having so much stress on her. It was long overdue, and rather than formally announcing that I wanted an assistant, I always have people messaging me, emailing me, contacting me, hey, you know, I want to work with you, I want to do what you do. And I'm a woman in a very male-dominated field, and I decided to mentor and build up another woman that wanted to be in this business. So I was very lucky to find Lily, but she was also persistent. She emailed me, she messaged me, she let me know that she wanted the job. So it's a lesson for you guys that wanna get into the business. Don't be afraid to be persistent and I'm excited to introduce you to Lily. Hi guys, I'm Lily, Heather's new assistant. Don't mind my car, it's really dirty, but let's go inside. <laughs> This is my office. It seems today the film crew is taking it over, but we'll make do with what we've got, right? I started here with Heather in November of 2021, and from there, I've been helping her with basically everything that she needs. It's been an amazing experience. I couldn't think of anybody I'd want to work for more. She's been an inspiration of mine since like 2020 when I first heard about her, and I've been following her since then. And I think she's such a great, female representation. I sent her a note kind of introducing myself saying that I had a little bit of a background in cars growing up with them and I asked her if she would be open to answering any questions. We got on a FaceTime call and I asked her like what it's like being a woman in the car industry, how she did what she did, how she built her brand. We kind of like clicked on that FaceTime call and she said at the end of the call she said at the end of high school, would you be open to starting an internship or whatever? And I was like, obviously, yeah. So I started off managing her social medias and then she was like, I'm drowning in work in the office. Would you be willing to come in and help me in the office? And so obviously I accepted the offer and from then on, I've been working here helping her. I wanna be in luxury sales at some point. And I think I'm starting off at the perfect spot, learning from the best from Heather. She is so straightforward and she gets right to the point and she just knows how to treat a client. Um, she doesn't fuck around <laughs> and she just, she satisfies everything that they need. And I think that's a really great learning opportunity for me and my future career is learning how she deals with her clients and how catering she is to them. 
I'm most excited for all the deliveries we're about to do because last year Heather had a really, really good year and we've been selling a lot of cars. So in springtime, we're gonna have a lot of deliveries and those are always the most fun because everybody's excited. I get to see the clients, like the end result, I guess, of the car and it's really exciting. It's been really great talking to you guys. I'm glad I got to introduce myself. Um, subscribe for more because there's so much more stuff coming up and you're gonna love it. This weather is depressing me. I came in in a bad mood. Do you want me to start the car up? That yeah. always gets you, makes you feel better, right? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's rev it. I'll feel better. It'll cheer me up. Feeling better? <laughs> yeah. A lot better. If you're feeling bad, just rev the shit out of your Lambo. I promise it'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> so Mark used to help me. He used to do all my videography, my editing, and he never wanted to be on camera. And now he's my coworker selling cars. And guess what? He's in the limelight now. He's gonna be on camera. That's him in action. So I get asked all the time, especially when I sell pre-owned cars, guys say, oh, do I need the titanium exhaust? It's like a 20K exhaust that you can do through parts. You don't need it, guys. The stock exhaust sounds sick. I'm gonna give you a sample. I'm starving. <laughs> My friend has this saying, he goes, nobody likes a hungry, Heather. <laughs> All right guys, so I just changed clothes. Got my ball mane waiting on the door. I'm going upstairs, we're shooting another video today. There's a lot going on today. As you can see, the crew completely took over Lily's office. And we've got lights and all kinds of gear. So anyway, I'm going upstairs to shoot a video that I know you're gonna love. It is called The Five Steps to Buying a Supercar. And I just wanna demystify that whole process because people sometimes get intimidated. And it should not be an intimidating thing, it should be a really fun experience because when you're finally there and you're ready to buy that supercar, I want you to enjoy it. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad that I got the chance to introduce Lily to you. Now you know who she is. And as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan.